Hi, what is going on? What's up everyone? It's Manit here and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to edit moody pictures for your Instagram. All right, so let's get started. So first of all, I'll be showing you guys um, a little before and after of the pictures that we're gonna edit today. So here's the first one. This one's before and this is the moody version of our edit. Here is the second photo. And after a little bit of um, cool edits and rotation, this is how the final photo looks like. So let's open up this file in Photoshop. Um, open with Photoshop CC 2015. I'm still using 2015 version. Um, so first of all, what you want to do is just um, unlock the background, then hit OK. So we click on layer and then we go to filter, camera raw filter, or I can shift Control a um, let's open this up real quick so here's the thing that you want to do you want to make your photo look as flat as possible which means it's gonna have low saturation low highlights you know the highlights are not gonna look blown out and, and um, just increase the shadows and increase the blacks on your photo pretty much um, so that's what we're gonna do right now. Um, I'll give this around 0.35. I'll decrease the contrast to around uh, minus 20, 20, 20, 20. There you go. Um, I'll decrease the highlight just a little bit. We can always come back and do further edits, but um, for the initial setting, um, we're gonna do slide adjustment. Um, I'll make it to plus 34, plus, plus a little black and just hit OK so here is a little before and after it looks more flat already so now you want to copy the layer now we're gonna edit the top layer layer 0 copy um, just double click on it um, just layer 1 alright so now we're gonna edit layer 1 if there is any mistake we can always come back to layer 0 here um, so it's always good to have a backup of your previous layer when you edit photos. The next step is we're gonna import LUT Lumetri file in the photo. Click on color lookup. If you don't have um, the adjustment um, panel on your window, just go to window workspace and click on photography. Alright, okay. So let's click on color lookup um, under the load up. Uh, load 3D load 3D LUT click on load 3D LUT and click on lock.q it's a lookup table table file um, which is actually um, a preset that I use for both my videos and my pictures so I'll go for lock.q I'll put the file in the description so you can always go check out the description and download the file so here you, we get this layer of color lookup of this effect look at this this one's really nice already but it's it's actually like colorful not that moody the kind of look that we want to go for let's go back and look at the um the moody edit okay it's it's more desaturated and less blue like you can see the blue color on the jeans you know and a little saturated green at the uh, on the background uh, and we don't want that that's so for the moody edit this one's a really important part and it's a game changer trust me all right go to gradient double click on that I prefer to go for this gradient color I just hit OK just bear with me just um, it's 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 a game changer. That's all I know, man. Um, I prefer to go for 235. Um, about 250 is fine, and then hit OK. Um, and then from the blending mode, I change it to hue. Okay. The photo looks really weird right now, but by decreasing the set the opacity to around um, 80 and 
the fill to around 79 or 80 you can always have your own preference um, of how you want your photo to look but I prefer it to be somewhere around this value okay 80 80 works fine for me for this picture um, but if you go like 40 no um, 80 is fine right okay this one looks really good already but here I don't like I don't like um, this part of my face it's like um, it's not really popped up it's like really dark so uh, comparing to um, the rest part of my skin tone my uh, front part of the face is really dark so I'm just gonna uh, click on layer 0 um, and um, control shift A to get this edit panel and click on the radial filter I'll just create a nice circle around my face pretty much that um, I'll keep the saturation zero um, I'll just increase the exposure to somewhere around 0 0.35 um, and then just make sure your feather is 100, 100 and the set filter effect goes inside the circle so that you have the effect inside the circle all right um, I'll move it somewhere around here near my eyes and I'll hit OK let's see okay yeah it's way a lot better so you can see the difference when we um, unclick this eyeball here you can see the difference of the photo the next step what you want to do next is we click on curves and bring up the shadow bring down the highlight somewhere around there and on this part of the shadow I'll just bring this down a little more um, I'm trying to create sort of uh, an S curve for this photo yeah pretty much it's it's kind of blown out and and I really like um, to give this like this kind of blown out look because it's um, it's a little foggy on the background um, what you want to do next is click on these three layers all together and click click ctrl G and that's gonna be a new layer a group of layer of our effects here is the, the before and after of this photo okay here's the layer and before and after boom amazing okay let's do the same thing using the different photo for Instagram let's crop this photo real quick for Instagram it's 4 by 5 the aspect ratio for Instagram um, and I kind of want it to be somewhere around here so when you when you upload this on Instagram you, you're gonna be uh, able to see um, pretty much my whole body on the frame okay and yeah looks pretty amazing already what you can do right now you can go ahead and save this file as a Photoshop file um, I'm gonna save this on my desktop um, I'll name this moody preset save okay so when you edit your other photos um, you, you, you don't have to always come back and you know like start the whole process over again what you can do is just basically just go grab your photo drag it on Photoshop and okay now set the frame okay now that we have this this one's the layer for our new photo we're gonna drag this down to this um, effect layer but it's it's it doesn't really look good it, it looks really bad so we actually have to go back to some minor edit with these three layers which can be done in like a minute so I'll show you guys how to do it um, 
pretty much we're gonna change um, the opacity and fill in our photo um, so for the color lookup layer which we um, let's change it to opacity let's change it to decrease it and see what happens um, so we're around 60 fill 60 okay um, let's decrease this to 74 and the opacity is 63 and do slight adjustment on this I'll create one more point on curve to just bump up the mid-tone just like a little bit yeah okay all right and here is the photo okay so here's a little before and after of this photo check this out here is the first photo without any edit and here is after effect looks nice and moody yeah and here is the second photo without any effect and this is what it looks like after the edit pretty nice and moody and it's really fast just like I say it takes less than a minute if you get the preset ready boom so yeah I hope you guys like the video if you find the video helpful go ahead smash that thumbs up button and subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't already also go follow me on my instagram at manitmunsur and I'll see you guys in the next video until next time peace